Hey guys. So I want to show you guys how to remove the tail light tint here. Now you know I have love how this looks, but let's say you get sick of it, okay? Or you get in trouble, something, whatever happens, and you need to remove it. Okay, I want to show you how easy this stuff is to remove and how it doesn't leave any kind of film, residual, nothing like that on the light. A lot of people were asking if it bakes on there, it's going to be a big chore to take it off. Well, I want to show you here. It's not hard at all. Okay, so I'm just going to... If you remember how I installed this, it's in sections. It's not one piece. So, so I'll just heat it up a little bit. You don't have to go crazy here. You might even want to use a, a blow dryer because if you heat this up too much, it just becomes stretchy too, and you don't need it like that. So I just heat it up a little bit, and then you just have to get a corner. And again, once you get a corner started, it just pulls off. Okay, you can see it here. I just got the corner. And you have to pull a little bit of force, but it comes off one piece. Doesn't leave any residue behind. Just like that. Easy. Okay, and then you just work your way down. Okay, we'll do this other section here. And you only need to use heat, at least what I do, is I use heat to soften the edge up, so then you can get your nail and get up underneath it. So you don't need to use like a trim tool or nothing like that. Because that, if you do, it's easy to slip and scratch your paint or even scratch the tail light. So once the hardest thing is getting it started and I don't really have nails, so pull this here. One piece. If you remember, that was the one I did. I did the, the little cutout around it of red to make it like a red out and then I tin on top of that. So that's two pieces here. Okay, and then we'll just do this bottom piece here. And the best part about this guys is when you remove it, depending on when you put it on your car, your tail lights will look brand new. You won't have any, like the biggest thing I can tell you, they get swirl marks when you wash them, this plastic. You'll get little like swirl marks in the sun when you look at the, the plastic on your tail lights. This prevents that. It's, I mean, if you put it on there when it was new, um, it looks brand new. So it's a good layer of protection on top of changing the look. You take it off, it's like a brand new tail light underneath. Okay, so this was a little trickier. Okay, so I got it started here on the edge. Again, you're just taking it off, just like you put it on. And surprising because, like I said, this has been one of the first mods I did. So it's been on for probably a year and a half, and it's been hot here, and it's baked in the sun. So I thought it might leave a little residue, maybe it would rip off little pieces. It doesn't. So again, you get quality vinyl and overlays like this, it's going to save you when you go to remove it. Okay? So I pick these up, Cool Tint 604, same thing on eBay. Check him out, has great products. Stand behind his, his stuff too, so really great. I mean, look at, it just comes off. And this was actually in two pieces here, but it's bonded together, so it's coming off as one. But if you remember, the top and bottom section was separate, but it's coming off together, so it makes it even easier. But even look at that tail light. Really nice. So if you want to switch it up and you did this, you know, it's don't worry about the sun baking it on there because there's some sprays if you put on to tint your tail lights. When it bakes on there, it is a chore to get off. It's really hard. This is not the case. And like I said, I actually thought it might be hard to remove it at first, but you know, just a little heat just on the edge. Like I said, when it gets warm to the touch, that's all you need. Too much on this kind of stuff with any overlay. It'll stretch the overlay, so when you pull it, it's just going to be stretchy and have a more tendency to tear, too. So you don't need that. See, this will just come off. Okay, and then this one, same thing. If you remember this one now, I have two overlays on. So this is just the smoked part that I did. Okay, then underneath it is the red overlay I did because I went with that whole red out theme. Okay, if you guys remember that video, I did the red out and then eventually I just decided to smoke everything so it was all uniform. Okay, so that's the red overlay. So let's see how that comes off, you know, having two pieces on there, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So a little bit of heat up here. And if you wanted, probably been easier, I didn't do it, but open the trunk to get that edge easier, but I didn't. So once I find an edge here, 
right there. See, and this is just as easy too. It just pulls right off. There you go. So that's the one whole side done. I mean, it took maybe five minutes. So not hard at all. Very easy. Now look at that light. Like I said, there's no swirls. My other cars I've had when I didn't tint them, the, the top part would have tons of swirls in it just from washing it. So this prevents that. I mean, and it doesn't damage it. So I highly recommend if you guys want some tinted tail lights, go with these overlays. If you change your mind years later, it's not going to damage it. Okay, guys? Hope everyone's doing good, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks again, guys.